What band did you absolutely unequivocally not get along with back in the day? Um, Other than the band that tried to sound exactly like you, even though I love them, Kicks. Kicks? Oh, those guys are great. They're great, I but I think them. their producer wanted to create a new rat. Yeah, that's okay. Well, that's what happened in, in the late 80s, and that's what kind of took down the scene, you know, is oversaturation of... Yeah, it uh, wasn't the grunge uh, bands. It was bad hair bands. Of course. And I, key, I, I said that um, yesterday during this interview. They were like, do you blame it on grunge? I go, I blame nothing on anything, but if you're talking about where we came from we came from 1981 to 83 you know, on the scene we didn't come from 86 7 8 9 you know uh so and where is grunge now you know only the strong survive if they're even doing that um but you know what was the who was the band um that i never i, I got along with everybody yeah. kind of had, ha, had to uh teach a lesson that you thought you learned good or bad but it was all good i mean you know anybody who opened up for rat and to this day we want to be a good band you know it's it's all about this sometimes you know he's making the cash move by the way but that uh doesn't work in radio <laughs> <laughs> but you know i liked everybody i mean we used to sit and watch queens right you know all, all the time cheap trick you know and bon jovi were great and i mean it is what it was, you know.